This is a sports catastrophe production. Tragic news from the world of baseball has spayed Boston second baseman and color commentator on NESN broadcasts. Jerry Remy passed away today. Jerry Remy was a broadcaster for the Red Sox for years, and he was famous for his colorful commentary on Red Sox games. First with Sean McDonough, then with Don Marcillo and the current one. I can't remember who that is. But anyway, Jerry Remy was born in 1952 in Fall River, Massachusetts. So... He played it. He was selected in the 1970 baseball draft by Washington, but then he didn't sign and got to the January supplemental phase of the draft by the California Angels and signed with the Angels. He would play for the Angels for three seasons with a, with 110 stolen bases. In December of 77, he was then traded to Boston in exchange for Don Oss and cash considerations. He was the Red Sox starting for second baseman in the 1978 season that saw the Red Sox choke a 13-plus game lead in the AL East and lose the one-game playoff to the Yankees on the final day. He was selected for the All-Star game, but he couldn't play it. He played 148 games for the Red Sox, only batting 278 and 30 stolen bases. He would hit two runs which, in that 78 season, which were the last in his career. He actually was on base in the ninth inning when Carlos Ostremski popped up to end the one-game tiebreaker against the Yankees. It was one of the worst feelings in the world, if you're a Red Sox fan, that Ostremski could have helped the Bull Sox get to the ALCS at the Yankees' expense. He would continue as Boston's second baseman for six seasons, but never hit a home run, as I said. He would play many years for the Red Sox, but he would retire during spring training in 1986, thus giving Marty Barrett the second baseman spot for the 86 Red Sox. It is seven seasons with the Red Sox. He played over 700 games with 98 stolen bases. In his 10-year career, he batted 275 with seven home runs, 329 RBIs, and 208 stolen bases in more than 1,100 games. But Remy found success in broadcasting, working for NDSN, or the New England Sports Network, if you will, as a commentator for Red Sox broadcast. He would team up with Darren Orsillo and Dave O'Brien, on those broadcasts and all that. Jerry Remy actually is fam also famous in Red Sox circles for giving stories about Boston's mascot, Wally the Monster. And would give uh, tidbits about Wally and when he, his lore into Fenway Park. It made the mascot very lovable and all that. Remy actually had a cancerous area in his lung, but it, it was removed in November of 2008, and then he came back in April of 2009. It, feel good. it felt good for him. But he would have different spots on his lungs during a CT scan, all that. His lung cancer would not be denied. A fourth diagnosis of cancer was diagnosed with him, Remy, in August of 2018. Thankfully, he was cancer-free. However, he had lung cancer. He said he would have another lung cancer treatment on August 4, 2021. And he would throw out the ceremony in the first pitch before the wild card game between the Red Sox and Yankees, which the Red Sox actually won. Remy and his wife had three children, Jared, Jordan, and Jenna. Unfortunately, Jared was a security guard, but was fired because Jared was selling steroids. Jared was arrested in the fatal stabbing of his girlfriend, which of which he pled guilty to in May of 2014, sentenced to life in state prison without parole. Jordan was actually selected by the Red Sox in the 49th round of the 1998 MLB draft, but didn't play professionally. Jerry Remy was a fantastic person, and he will be sadly, sadly missed in the of Red Sox fans everywhere. Jerry Remy was 60.